Most of the contenders here are limousine saloons large enough to make the average three-bedroom semi-detached house look small. But one or two of the most demure and desirable SUVs in the world make the cut also. If you want the last word in opulence, sophistication, a sense of occasion, and conferred status from your choice of car, this is the niche you'll be shopping in. There isn't a car here that you can buy for less than a six-figure outlay, and one or two might even cost you seven figures. For regular super luxury class clientele after all, to be denied the opportunity to double the cost of your car and making it absolutely your own would be the ultimate turnoff. In today's video, we will be showing you the 10 most luxurious cars in the world. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 10. Mercedes AMG EQS 53. Mercedes' first crack at a luxury EV saloon certainly isn't short on ambition. With its swoopy coupe style looks and the option of a heady 751 brake horsepower dual motor combo helping grab the attention. With a large 107.8 kilowatts per hour battery, it has the stamina you expect for a long distance limousine too. With a claimed range just north of 350 miles, the interior is also very spacious, and while perhaps not up to the standard of the brand's S-Class in terms of high-grade fixtures and fittings, its vast hyper-screen digital dashboard option certainly creates an impression, even if it isn't the easiest to navigate. Number 9. Alpina B7 If it is exclusivity you crave, do not be fooled by the BMW badge on the long bonnet of the Alpina B7. Of all the supremely special and rare cars on this list, perhaps only the Mercedes Maybach is as unlikely to heave into your view on public roads, and the typical B7 price tag of close to £200,000 after options reflects that. As ever with Alpina, there are two sides to its version of a series production BMW model. Number 8. BMW iX All-electric super luxury cars with the performance, refinement, and versatility to really command the road have been slow to emerge, but the BMW iX is the closest thing we've seen to one so far. The exterior design of this full-size SUV is divisive, and to some it may not count as desirable at all. But to those who really think about the EV they want to own, who cares about how sustainable its various ingredients and production processes are, and who look a little deeper to find the desirability of a high-end car, the iX should stand out for all sorts of reasons. Number 7. Range Rover Range Rover is a luxury sport utility vehicle, produced by British car manufacturer Land Rover, a subsidiary of Tata Motors. The Range Rover was first introduced in 1970 and has since undergone several updates and redesigns. It is known for its off-road capabilities, as well as its luxurious and comfortable interior features. The current model is available in several trims and engine options, including hybrid and electric models. The original luxury SUV is now in its fifth generation, and the latest, all-new version is undoubtedly the best. While the Range Rover's looks are an evolution of its predecessors, this is still an imposing piece of metal. While neat touches, such as the slim rear lamps, create real visual interest. Under the skin, it features the brand's aluminium MLA Flex architecture. While there's a range of mild hybrid-assisted petrol and diesel, a plug-in hybrid, and, for the ultimate in performance and luxury, a BMW-sourced 523 brake horsepower 4.4-liter V8 patrol. Number 6. Bentley Bentayga The Bentayga has had an eventful passage through the autocar road test evaluation process. Being the first in a barrage of 100,000 pounds plus super SUVs to come to market in 2016, we first rated it highly with a caveat or two in TOLU 12 engine form, and then rated it higher still when Bentley introduced an Audi sourced 4.0 liter, 429 brake horsepower turbocharged diesel V8 in 2017 which made exactly as much torque as the 12-cylinder petrol motor, but at more accessible crank speeds. Then, in 2018, amid the spreading toxicity surrounding diesel engines, Bentley removed the Bentega diesel from sale in Europe, and with it removed from view what we considered the definitive version of the car. A V8 petrol model 
augmented the model range in the same year, while a plug-in hybrid arrived in 2019. There is now also the speed, a 626 brake horsepower, 188,030 pounds pay into excess, before the entire range was given an update for 2020. The Bentayga's wonderfully plush interior, its swell of torque-laden performance, and its sense of imperious, singularly enveloping luxury make it stand out even in this class, and these qualities might even be potent enough to win over a cynic who started out opposed to the idea of living in a blue-blooded SUV. Number 5. Rolls-Royce Cullinan Goodwood's Marmite addition to the super-luxury segment arrived in 2018 in response to a significant amount of Rolls-Royce customer feedback that a more daily usable, all-surface-capable, family-practical model would be a very welcome way to augment the firm's showroom range. The Cullinan has been met with enough criticism of its design, from all quarters to have set an aspect, a sense that its maker has taken a significant risk in introducing a car that some have described as awkward and unlovely and others have slammed in even less sympathetic terms. Number 4. Mercedes Maybach S-Class the richest and most special car in what might be the most universally respected and admired limousine range in the world. The Mercedes Maybach S-Class is the modern standard bearer for Daimler's Maybach super luxury brand. To judge by appearances, you'd say it was at least as much S-Class as Maybach. And that's the result of Daimler's strategic decision, taken a few years ago, to broaden the reach of the Maybach mark by creating Halo Maybach models across some of its more normal Mercedes passenger car ranges. Number 3. Bentley Flying Spur Bentley's four-door Continental Series limousine started off its modern life as the Continental Flying Spur in 2006, only dropping the nomenclature prefix that links it with Crew's current two-door GT with its latest model overhaul to date in 2014. But the Flying Spur is now in its third generation, something that's not difficult to detect from the prouder, more muscular design, which borrows heavily from the most recent, attractive Continental GT Coupe. Number 2. Rolls-Royce Ghost The Ghost was a line in the sand for Rolls-Royce when it appeared in 2009, the beginning of a transformation that took the company's annual production volume from hundreds of cars per year to several thousand. Now in its second generation, the Phantom's understudy has evolved substantially. Where the Ghost mechanical underpinnings were once adapted from those of the BMW 7 Series, it now shares the same architecture of the luxury platform as the Cullinan and Phantom. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Phantom The grandest and greatest luxury conveyance in Motordom was replaced by Rolls-Royce in 2017 and given a glittering 5-star road test welcome by road testers shortly thereafter. Owners will love it at least as much for the extravagant statement of wealth and status it endows, and for the unmatched sense of occasion you enjoy when traveling in one. But while many won't ever know as much, the latest Phantom is also an utter joy and a rare pleasure to drive. Its superbly comfortable and singularly isolating ride comfort can be sample from the back seats, of course, and is like nothing else you'll encounter in a car, gently loping and deliciously indulgent feeling but also supremely quiet and smooth, despite Rolls-Royce's fitment of the latest run-flat tire technology. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.